Back in October, Sean and I showed you a quick demo of our Vox Imperium in-helmet sound system. Uh, and today, we're gonna show you a little bit more about it. You guys had some great comments and suggestions in the original post, uh, and we've taken some of your advice and made some improvements. We've simplified the amplifier circuit and eliminated some of the ribbon cables that were frankly unnecessary and were creating false positives and unwanted static in the audio. Next, we found some smaller, more helmet-friendly speakers in the garbage and relocated them to the back of the helmet to help isolate the microphone. We also added one of our small surface transducers to the back of the helmet to see if it would help fill out the low end of the audio range. Finally, we took steps to further isolate the MEMS microphone to prevent feedback and allow us to amplify the wearer's voice to a suitably imperial volume, and we fiddled with the audio values in the Arduino sketch for the same reason. Now, I know some of you had expressed some concerns about the location of the lithium polymer battery vis-a-vis -vis their proximity to my face. Now, if you need to keep 2,000 milliamps of coil potential energy inches from your head, you would probably put them in a place where you could easily verify they aren't overheating, quickly get them away from your face, and if necessary, quickly disconnect them. Well, that's exactly why I put them in the visor. So, check out Sean's excellent tutorial if you want to make a circuit like this yourself. Uh, I don't think we have to remind you Rogue One, A Star Wars Story is in theaters tomorrow. We will see you in the theaters.